In today's tutorial, we're going to be learning how to make a paracord pen. Hey, what's going on guys? Tim here again. Got another tutorial for you today. We're doing the paracord pen today. So um, yeah, for those of you who just really love your paracord, you can now write, well not write with the paracord, but you can have a pen that's got uh, paracord wrapped all around it. So, not too hard on this one, just incorporates the box knot and the round sinnet and the four strand foot rope knot. And I hope you guys will enjoy this one. So, um, remember guys, if you're looking for paracord and where to get all that good stuff and materials I use in this video, check out those um, affiliate links down below in my Amazon Influencer store. And also a huge thank you again to my Patreon patrons. Uh, we just released our exclusive video for last month as well as the giveaway. So if you guys like what I do, you want to support me even further, you can check me out on Patreon. I've got all the links down below. All right, so that being said, let's get into how to make this paracord pen. Okay, so to start this paracord pen, I've got my two lengths of paracord and I've got my little pen insert here. I just pulled this out of a, you know, this little big pen I had lying around. I didn't have the cap for it, so I figured I might as well use this pen. So I got the um, two lengths of paracord. I'm going to start by tying a square knot. And uh, I've got the midpoint, the midpoint doubled over both cords. You're going to lay them across perpendicular, like so. Then I'm going to start off with the white cord. I'm going to take the left side and bring it over to the right. I'm going to take the right side, bring it over to the left, like so. Okay, so try to keep everything like that. Now, next, I'm going to take the bottom magenta strand. I'm going to go over top the white and then go underneath that the second white strand. Okay, I'm going to bring that up there. And then from here, we take our white, go over top that and then go underneath, underneath that second white strand. Okay, and that is the first square knot. Okay, now you're gonna cinch everything closed. Just do that gradually. The first knot's always the trickiest. There we go, so just pull that tight. Okay, I'm just gonna close that up, and there we go. So we're gonna tie a few more of these square knots before we insert our pen insert. So you could do this as a, um, as I mentioned before, as a round sinnet. I'm doing a square one just so that you have like a nice square pen that doesn't roll off your desk or doesn't roll away from you. But you could do this as a round sinnet if you want. So now to continue the square knots, you're going to do the same process. Um, line up the magenta, bring that up, keep everything in line because it's a square, the um, square box knot. We're just going to keep everything in line like that. So you see how the Magentas are running in the same direction. There you go. And then now for the white, you're going to keep them lined up with the white underneath. And remember, go over and under like so. Pull that through. There you go. And now with the second one, go over and under. Okay, so once you get the first couple knots tied, you should have the hang of it. So before fully tightening the uh, second box knot, you're going to grab your pen insert and just place it right there. Okay, and then now you're going to tighten that second knot around the pen insert. Okay, it's going to be a little tricky. It might fall out, so just be careful. And um, you can also cut your pen insert shorter if you want, if you don't want such a long pen. Anyways, um, so there you go. Tighten that up around the pen insert now or the refill. And then now we're just going to continue tying those box knots around, around the pen refill. So, right, same box knots. Over, under, over, under. Right.
Okay, so there we go. We can see the start of our paracord pen. So I'm just going to continue tying the box knots around. It's kind of easier with that core in the center. So just um, yeah, continue tying, make your way all the way down or up your pen refill. And then we can finish it from there. Okay, so uh, I've decided to make some changes to this tutorial. Originally, I was just going to do the box knot all the way up, which is it's fine, but it might be a little boring. So I'm making it a little fancier. Um, we're going to transition into the um, crown sinnet or the round knot. So it's um, similar to the box knot. So instead of going over this way, we're going to go the opposite, right? So you're going to go across each side like so. And then you're going to still tie that same square knot like this. So we, this is the, uh, the knot we used for the, um, the mini nunchucks. So if you've seen that tutorial, you should be familiar with that. Okay, so let's get that there. And then now back through here, okay? So yeah, we're just gonna switch, switch it up to the um, crown sinnet, or round knot. I always forget the proper name for some of these things, but anyways. So um, yeah, we're gonna continue tying that almost all the way to the top. And then we're going to finish it off with the um, the uh, top knot there, which is going to be that four kind of four strand like diamond knot. Okay, so again, go across. So don't go on the same side as the the white. That's how we tie the um, crown sinnet. Okay. So I'm going to do that probably up to about here on my pen. I'm going to leave maybe half an inch or couple centimeters at the top and then uh, we can finish that off so where am I going here I'm going on this side right so just continue tying those box knots or square knots and then we can finish it off Okay, so there we go. Um, yeah, continue trying that. And um, I figured it might be a little more comfortable too to have that round section up top. So let's do that. Okay, so I'm almost at the top of my pen now and there's just about maybe a centimeter left. So what we're gonna do is tie the four strand foot rope knot and we're gonna tie another square knot just like we did before. So let's go over under like so. Oops. Okay, so there we go. Now from here, we're going to take, um, we'll start, it doesn't matter which strand you start with, I'm gonna start with this one here. We're going to take this strand and bring it past the next strand here and then up through the middle. Okay, like that, so bring that up through the middle. So now we'll do the next one. So we'll do the magenta one next. Bring it past this strand here, go up through the middle. Like so continue around to the next one. Bring that up through the middle. And then the last one. So go through right here, up through the middle. Okay. And there we go. So gather all four of your strands and just slowly pull everything up. Like so. And then just with each strand, just give it a good tug and cinch that knot up nicely ok 
Okay, there we go. So now you know what to do. We've got our excess paracord we need to cut off. Now uh, be very careful when you're doing this, especially when you're melting it, um, because it's very close to that pen and you don't want to touch your lighter flame to the pen because that's going to possibly ruin the pen. Um, so yeah, just clip off the excess paracord and then we'll be done. Okay, there we have it, we are finished. So very carefully singed off that paracord and the pen is working fine. And I think that end of that round knot really does make it a little bit more comfortable. Um, not that you know the square knot isn't comfortable either, but um, I think it looks nice with that little foot rope knot at the end too. Okay, that is it guys, that is the paracord pen. If you guys enjoyed this tutorial, and if you guys like this video and want to see more content like this, please uh, feel free to hit that subscribe button. Also, if you did like it, yeah, feel free to hit the like button as well. That helps me out a lot. All right, so that being said, I will see you guys on the next video. Bye.